Hi, church family. Pastor Bill here with your Friday briefing. A lot of exciting things happening this week, uh, next week, and particularly on Sunday. Starting this week, tonight, Celebrate Recovery is back at 530. If you've not had an opportunity to come and see what that's about, I want to encourage you to come. Come at 530. We'll feed you a hot dog, and then we have our big group at 630, and then Life Share groups start right after that. If you had not, not had a chance to experience that, it's for everyone that deals with hurts, hang-ups, or habits. And I have to tell you that as we have come each week, we have seen and um, I've participated in the groups and uh, we all have hurts, habits, and hang-ups. So come tonight and be a part of that and at least experience it and see if it may be what God wants you to get involved in. Now Sunday is gonna be very special here at the church. We have the Lord's Supper that we'll be celebrating during the service on Sunday. So be sure and come and be a part of that. Also at the end of the service, we have another exciting baptism. Pam Burkett has come, will be coming to the baptismal waters uh, to give her uh, obedient or to show her obedience to God's desire for her to be baptized and come and be a part of that and celebrate with some of her family members that will be here as Pam uh, celebrates her baptism on Sunday. What an exciting time. Now, Sunday afternoon, there's going to be training for a big event that's coming next week in the city, and that's our Good News Club. Sunday from 2 to 4, if you're going to be a part of the Good News Club, you need to come to the training that Deb Campbell is putting together to get you ready for Wednesday afternoon, our first Good News Club meeting at the elementary school. And if you're not involved in it, I want to ask you to be involved by prayer. I want you to be praying for all those that are involved in the Good News Club, particularly the children that are going to be coming, the parents that will be bringing their children that have an opportunity to meet the volunteers and those that have, uh, have a passionate heart for sharing Jesus with the, the young children of our community. Come and be a part of that. And then the next day, Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock, we're going to be a part of the dedication of the land next door. We're gonna have a groundbreaking, uh, even though they've been working all week tearing the land up, but we're gonna have a groundbreaking and I've had the privilege of being asked to do the invocation. So come as a church family and join all of us as we welcome the builders and, and have an opportunity to perhaps see what they're gonna be doing there as they put in 95 new units for people uh, to come and be a, to live there. So God, not only when we receive the blessing from the city of getting this new building we're in, that same night, um, they also gave the five acres next door to Nevada Authority to build affordable housing. So we're really excited that we not only have a brand new building to worship the Lord, but we've got two neighborhoods being put in, one right next to us, the other one is about a half a mile down the road. And we just continue to see God work and it's exciting to be a part of that. So come and join us for that. Uh, Sunday morning, Brother Justin and I will be finishing uh, part two of the message that we started last week, when God tests you with success. Now, I know some, a lot of people would say, what do you mean test me with success? Well, we're looking at the 10 tests in the book of Daniel, and this is another one that we're going to be looking at. So come and see how King Nebuchadnezzar recovered from what he went through. And if you haven't read that, I'd encourage you to read the fourth chapter of the book of Daniel to get an idea of what King Nebuchadnezzar went through. But we're going to see a lesson for each one of us when we see that King Nebuchadnezzar, he, after he went through this terrible experience, the first thing he did was look up to God. And then the second thing, it was to wake up to God's greatness and start, started worshiping God. And then the last thing that he does is go tell others about his experience and his love for the real God. And so I want to encourage you to come and be a part of that this Sunday. Come and join fellowship with other believers here at First Baptist Church. We're so excited to have you each week. God is continuing to grow his church here. And we always encourage people to come early if there's more than four of you to try to be able to set together because it fills up pretty fast, but we'll make room for you. It won't be a problem with that. So until Sunday morning at nine o'clock, can't wait to see you then and may God continue to bless you.